Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 19th Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about directives. Okay, so what the heck are directives? They are just instructions and they're instructions which tell Angular to do something or other depending on the directive that we use. And we've already seen a few directives so far in this series. A couple of them are here. First one is this router outlet which is in the form of a tag. And this tells Angular to load in the view at this point where it finds in the tags when we request a specific one in the URL bar. This one down here, this router link, takes the form of a HTML property. And this allows us to load in different views without reloading the actual page. So typically when we're working with directives, there's two kinds, attribute and structural. Attribute directives interact with the element that it's sitting on in order to change its appearance or properties. For example, ng class, which allows us to give the element different classes. Structural directives changes the actual structure of the HTML code when it's output to the browser. For example, ng if or ng for. So we're gonna look at both of these kinds in this tutorial. Okay, so before we start, I just wanna show you, I've made a few changes to the files that we're working on. I've just cleaned them up a little bit, that's all. First of all, in the app.routes file, I've changed this back to directory instead of using the parameters on this one. Uh, I've also gone into the app.component TypeScript file and I've just ripped out all the different variables we had here so it's nice and clean, just the title remaining. Um, in the home component TypeScript file, I've also cleaned up this, nothing in the constructor and only this home title left in the class. In the directory component, nothing left in it, just this ng on init and this constructor function. And in the home component HTML, just this home title and a p tag. And finally, in this directory component, just this p tag, I've added these styles down here, these different classes for this tutorial. Okay, cool. So let's take a look at these different uh, directives that we can use. First of all, I'm going to take a look at the attribute directives, which sits on an element and it changes the way that element looks, essentially. Okay, now one type is ng class. So I'm going to show you that first of all. So ng class is how it's written. And we set this equal to something. Now, we're gonna need property binding for this particular directive. So to do that, we need to pop these little square brackets around it like so. And then ng class expects an object in here. So we use object notation. And then the way we do this is by supplying a list of properties, which are gonna be the class names, and their values are gonna be either true or false. And if it's true, then this um, element has that class. If it's false, then this element doesn't have that class, okay? So these are the classes I've pre-made, blue, red, and underline. So let's make these in the object. We have to put them in these single quotes right here because we're already using double quotes, okay? So the class is gonna be blue, first of all, that's the property name. And then this is gonna be set equal to true in this case. Comma, next one. Then red is gonna be false. So I don't want it to have the red class. And then finally, underline, I'm gonna set this equal to true as well. So now we should have underline class and blue class when we save. So let's give this a whirl. I've saved it and let's just refresh over here. And cool, there we go, blue and underlined. So that's worked. Now if we go back and change these, so we'll change red to true. And we're gonna uh, change blue to false. And then underline, we'll set this to false as well. And save it then check it out in a browser to make sure it's updated. Cool, so this has worked as well. Awesome, so you can see if we inspect this element, that it's gonna have this red class and that's the only class it has. If we would have checked this before, it would have had the blue and the underlying class. So it's applying these classes to it dependent on the values of these properties in this object. And the cool thing is this object doesn't have to be here, it can sit on the component class itself. So let's go into that, it's the directory component right here. And if I create a variable called classes and set this equal to this object right here and save it, in the view over here, what I'm gonna do is set this equal to classes because we have access to that variable, oops, right here, okay? So I've saved this as well. And hopefully now this will still work. We'll just refresh. Cool, yeah, this still works. It's still getting that red color. Awesome, and the cool thing is now we can just go in and if the user is interacting with this view, for example, they click a button to change the different classes, then we could change these on the fly in the class. And we could change this to false, um, underline to true, 
and save that. And this is going to update how it looks in the view itself. Awesome. So that's updated there as well. OK, so I'm going to show you another directive now, and this time it's going to be a structural directive. So I'm going to do another P tag right here, and I'll say only show if test is true. So I'm going to use ng if, and this is a structural directive, and structural directives have this little asterisk in front of them. So ng if, and then that's set equal to something. Now, the way that ng if works is that it only shows a particular tag in the HTML if whatever's in here evaluates to true. If it's true, then this p tag is output to the view. If it's false, then this p tag doesn't appear in the view. OK, so let's just take a look. We'll set it equal to true, first of all, and save this and head over to the browser to refresh. OK, so that's showing right there. And then if I set this to false, then this shouldn't show. And let's refresh. Cool. And now that doesn't show. So this is changing the structure of the HTML code. It's either showing this element or it's not showing this element. And again, we don't have to declare true or false right here. We can do that on the actual component itself. So I could create another variable down here called test and set that equal to true and save this component. And then in the view again, I could set this equal to the variable we just created, which was called test here on the directory. And then if that is equal to true, it's going to show. If it's not equal to true, then it's not going to sh uh, show. So let's just refresh. All right, awesome. So that is working as well. So that is your introduction to directives. Like I say, we can have attribute directives like this, or we can have structural directives like this. We are going to look at more as we go through this series. Coming up in the next video is NG4.